let's now look at what are the applications or uses of ultrasonic waves okay so the first application that we are going to look at is ultrasonic drilling okay so this is primarily used for brittle materials okay so materials that shatter very easily so what could be these type of materials you could think of materials like glass and ceramic okay so for brittle materials we use ultrasonic drilling and the concept is very simple okay so what you have is a ultrasonic wave generator okay this could very well be a piezoelectric oscillator now this ultrasonic wave generator is connected to a drill bit okay this could be a fine metallic wire or anything of that sort because of the ultrasonic waves this drill bit is vibrated okay now on this drill bit you keep a ceramic or a glass piece because of these vibrations this drill bit moves up and down okay this movement results in chipping away of fine pieces of your ceramic okay and because of this chipping away what you get is a drilling action okay so with the help of this ultrasonic driller you can drill or make patterns on glass or ceramic or other such brittle materials without shattering the whole material okay so that was the concept of an ultrasonic drill which uses a ultrasonic generator connected to a drill bit okay so this is your drill bit okay so you might have seen drilling machines okay so the drilling machine is something like this right and over that you connect a drill bit depending upon what type of hole you want to create okay if you want to create a bigger hole you attach a wider drill bit so the same concept is used over here instead of this driller what you have is a ultrasonic wave generator which causes vibrations over here because of this this drill bit moves up and down okay another important use of ultrasonics is ultrasonic cleaning okay to understand the concept of ultrasonic cleaning we must first try to understand what is cavitation okay so whenever you have a fluid or a liquid in general and ultrasonic waves are transmitted through it okay then what happens is there is creation whoops creation and implosion of bubbles okay so bubbles are created and they then implode so these bubbles also known as your vacuum tears okay so just understand what's happening when ultrasonic waves are transmitted through a fluid some bubbles are created so there are two phases in which this happens first is the expansion phase during which your bubble grows in size and the other is the compression phase okay now during this phase what happens is this bubble implodes okay implode basically means it gets sucked into itself okay so it implodes which results in emitting of shock wave okay so when it implodes it emits shock wave due to which the local temperature and pressure becomes very high okay so you might get a localized temperature around this bubble up to 10000 degree c okay and similarly there would be a thousands of atmospheric pressure localized at this point now because of this shock wave and high temperature this results in localized cleaning okay so what you do is you take a bath okay in this bath you put in the substance that you want to clean okay so i'll just put in the substance that i want to clean and i'll just pass my ultrasonic waves through this fluid because of the cavitation effect